there was five of us that went and did an abseiling course at the start of the project to so that we could actually go down the, the cliff faces and Andrew and myself have to um, do like geological mapping of the surface. Today we're just going to um, basically we're looking at our routes that we might take to map the site. So we're basically trying to come down today and uh, have a look at a rock outcrop that is quite prominent uh, halfway down the slope. So um, today we're just going to abseil down one line to gain access to this ledge and then put in a series of ropes to actually be able to both go down together and map across a greater surface. We have to try and get to where the rock is and uh, that means that if the rock is in difficult access yep. areas then yeah we use whatever means we can. Uh, abseiling or using uh, you know, boom lifts and things to, to get us up to the rock faces so that we can inspect them and do geological mapping and yeah, whatever we need to do. We're trying to look at all the different joints that are uh, outcropping, um, particularly some of the major features that sort of make up the uh, um, slope. So for instance, for example, like there's, an, there's a slope over there that's got a, uh, a series of features that run along the whole slope and define it. Um, so yeah, that also occurs on this side, so we're just trying to pick that up and measure it and, and then we'll um, actually uh, record any specific features that that might show. So, uh, place that down the last time instead. Yeah, it's got a lot of uh, complex geological issues and uh, even just the topography makes it challenging. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's not every day you're working on large scale jobs like this. So when they come around, they're, uh, they're always enjoyable. They're challenging and everyone works very hard, but uh, yeah, I mean, you always look, look back at the big jobs with a lot of fondness. Oh, you know, Gabe's the character of uh, Cliffhanger. You know, Sylvester Stallone's character. He likes just hanging around and he's a bit of an action man like Gabe. <laughs> I have to put up with this all the time. <laughs> yeah, well, he's a Kiwi. <laughs> Working outside with just a few people and quite often you're with, uh, you know, you meet all sorts of people outside and, and construction sites or, or uh, in the meeting room, so being able to have a good sense of humour always helps. I think that's uh, how sometimes <laughs> people out here cope with, you know, we work rain, hail or shine, and um, you know, just people's sense of humour that, that make it easy to to work in whatever conditions. You know, most of the guys out here don't mind getting getting wet so much. It's more about more about the inconvenience of trying to keep paper dry or or you know making sure that the site is still safe uh, if it becomes wet and slippery. And... I'm wearing a work positioning harness uh, which is required for industrial rope access. Uh, I've got my descending device which uh, is an auto locking device so that if I uh, you know, want to let go I can just let go and it locks off automatically. If I was to fall then uh, the rope won't just slide through the device. And then we use, we it's all twin rope, so I have a load rope and a safety rope. The main load rope goes through the descender and then my safety rope goes through this uh, fall arrester. So even if my load rope fails, I'll fall onto my safety rope. Both ropes are anchored to anchor points that are rated to 15 kilonewtons. So it's a lot of redundancy to make sure that it's done safely. We look over the rock face and, and uh, find a suitable piece of rock that uh, doesn't have adverse jointing that could lead to failures and has a good uh, high strength uh, about it. And uh, yeah, we install in these anchors. Um, they're a proprietary made uh, bolt for, for this sort of purpose. Today we'll be going pretty, pretty much all day. Um, in fact, we'll be going pretty much all day for the next month, really. You know, this is what, this is what all geologists love, 
being outside uh, when it comes to the geological mapping side of things. It's um, just us and nature.